We want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south. We apologize, we're running a little bit late. Uh, we planned on coming live at 4 o'clock. Uh, lots of stuff going on. Uh, lots of intel coming in, uh, real time. Uh, so we have to take a look at that. Uh, today is the, uh, what is today? Today is March 5th. Uh, it is Thursday, so God bless each and every one of you. Um, as we bring you today's Take 5, as we tell you that it is, uh, things are heating up, people are starting to melt down, literally, literally, literally melt down. As uh, we saw Ch Chuck Schumer yesterday, uh, we reported it um, yesterday, but it was far worse. Uh, Talib me uh, melting down as well. Uh, they know, they know, they know, they know. There is uh, a call that I have to be on today that um, it has to do with the reset. And I did get some information before this call, so it's, it's a second source about the reset. Uh, we're very close. We're a lot closer than we thought. Um, a lot closer than we thought. So uh, we gotta pray. We gotta pray. We're at the tipping point. We gotta pray. We're at the, gotta pray. So uh, speaking of prayer, <clears throat> um, Monday, we are going to be changing. I hate to do this to everybody all the time. Uh, Monday will be our prayer intercessor night. We're going to eventually get back to stationary on Tuesday. But next Monday, for various reasons, we have to do it on Monday or we wouldn't be able to have an intercessor prayer. Uh, and uh, people love that. Uh, I think uh, the numbers I looked at were like 6,000 people saw it on uh, Facebook. And that was before we, it didn't go live on His Glory TV. I hit the wrong button. Um, but it did finally go to YouTube and then uh, it is on our, it should be on our website now. So if you missed it, you can go and see that. But record numbers checked in just on Facebook alone to listen to the prayer. Lots of intense prayer. That's what we need to do. Pray, 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 because we are at a tipping point. When you see people of the opposite start to absolutely lose their mind, like you see in public, my goodness, we don't have to say double portion anymore. He is aware of what we said, the double portion, I'm told. Somebody told me he said creed again. Uh, I think that's a, co a coincidence. Uh, it's 630 tip off tonight. I have two meetings. I'm going to have to tape the Michigan game. Don't anybody tell me what the score of the Michigan game is because I'm going to have to tape it. I got so many meetings. I haven't even had a breath today. Oh, it's from one thing to another. All right, let's get into the news. I'm going to try to get this out as soon as we possibly can because I got a call and a call and a meeting and a meeting and I got to tape the Michigan game. Uh, to see if Michigan can win. They should be able to beat Nebraska. We're in March Madness. Oh my gosh, is it March Madness? Wait till next week. Wait till next week. Uh, it's just getting good. Uh, I'd say grab your popcorn, but I think I went to get some popcorn last night and we're out of Costco popcorn. Hmm. So, you gotta get me Costco popcorn. All right, let's get uh, international courts uh, uh, today. Uh, approved uh, to go after Mike Pompeo had a, a, conf or a press conference. You notice that there are, there's pro press conferences going with uh, President Trump uh, at least one or two a day, uh, not necessarily full form uh, press conferences, but all his cabinet, you're seeing him more and more. They're there every day. It's intensifying. You never saw that before. Nobody now in the fake news is saying, well, what happened to the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the press conferences we used to have with the fake news in the, in the press room? No, why do that? You can go straight to the people. Bypass these criminals. Speaking of the criminal court or the international courts, you don't trust them. There is, Mike Pompeo was alluding to this. He didn't go in depth, but there is, there is corruption in an international court. Uh, that is tied to the deep state. Uh, he alluded to it. He actually said a little bit of it, but more is coming. But anyway, the international court today approved to pr pursue war crimes against Afghanistan, the Taliban, and the United States military. Uh, not on our watch. It's not going to happen, as Mike Pompeo says. Deep state, wicked people, follow the money. Follow the money. But you can do, you, is, is, uh, as Mike Pompeo said, is, is what we said too, as soon as that Taliban agreement was done, you could, you could have bet the farm there was going to be an attack because the deep state does not want this to happen. They want control of the poppy fields. They want control of war. War is money. Drugs are money. 
Uh, human trafficking is money. And now you see the, the untrustworthy international court system. And Mike Pompeo says, we don't even recognize you. Pound salt. All right, uh, Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. Uh, Bethlehem was where we were. We were at the Church of the Nativity when we were in our Israel trip. Speaking of Israel trip, there's been three people that have uh, emailed us about the Israel trip. Uh, we, we've got your information. I'll try to apply, uh, reply back. Uh, uh, Lisa's uh, still on vacation, uh, but I'll try to handle it. And um, nothing. we're not going to set anything up in, for another 30 to 60 days because we're talking about January 2021. We want this coronavirus to pass through Israel, through Bethlehem, all these places before we get it, get it set. So uh, bear with us. We didn't forget. Uh, and same with, with um, meet and greets. If you feel comfortable, maybe we can shoot for meet and greet either in Tennessee, Las Vegas, or uh, Florida. Those are the three that we'd be looking at. So info at hisglory.me would be the best to send it to. Um, that way it's not lost in the shuffle. All right. And if I can ever figure out my Mac. I don't like Mac computers. I wish I still had uh, pound sand. Is that one of my, did I say pound sand or pound salt? Uh, I don't know. I get in trouble for what I say all the time. I'm human. You know, I'm human. I'm just a servant. Don't call me pastor. Call me servant. Call me work in progress. <laughs> don't at me, bro. Uh, so the church of nativity in Beth Bethlehem where we were is, cl is closed for coronavirus. So it goes back to, it is a good thing that we did, uh, we, we did make the uh, unpopular, uh, horrible, hard decision uh, to cancel the Israel trip the, the, in the time that we did. We didn't want to have people in limbo, uh, and it's turning out to be the right decision for many reasons. I think the Lord wanted me here for another reason that everybody will know about uh, soon. Uh, but we are going to be doing the January 2021 uh, Israel trip, uh, same, but added to uh, the one we just came back. We're, we're making some adjustments to it, um, hotel adjustments in Galilee. And uh, I think we're going to go to the Sea of, uh, or the Dead Sea instead of uh, Jericho. But everything else is going to be the same uh, or close. It's a great trip. It'll change your life if you go to Israel. Uh, so join us in 2021. And if you send us an email, bear with us. We haven't started the process yet, but it'll be easy to start because all we have to do is replicate what we already did. Um, all right, extreme terpenes. Get your extreme terpenes. Oh my goodness, I took a little bit. I, I was really tired yesterday, really tired. So I took a little, I, I took, usually I just take a, a half a drop of the nighttime. I took a, like a full drop of the nighttime. Oh, out like a light, out like a light, and I needed sleep. I slept longer than I normally do. Um, yeah, Dead Sea's great. You can you can swim without dr drowning. That's my kind of that's my kind of place. Swim without drowning. We're also going to stop at the Qum, uh, Qumran too, where they found the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, so get your extreme terpenes under His Glory Family Partners. If you're watching this on YouTube premiere later, His Glory Family Partners on www.hisglory.me. You can get uh, two types of uh, potent daytime. You get the night. There's a nighttime. There is the gummies, uh, which are good. Uh, and you also get the honey sticks. We hope to hear honey, 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 honey. Uh, so get your extreme terpenes. Tell your friends, tell them your family. Everybody on here that takes them says they swear by them. Their pain is gone. Uh, we have, um, speaking of pain, we have an update on my, uh, my golden retriever. My wife took her in today and uh, she's going to need surgery. Uh, so we need prayers. Uh, it's going to be a costly surgery. Um, uh, and we pray that she's going to be able to pull through it. She, uh, she's, she's got some growths, uh, some tumors in, in several areas. And um, she's 13 and a half years old. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we pray that she can make it through and uh, give her a quality of life. So it's, we just want to make sure she's not in pain. So we, uh, we, the prayers next week is going to be a tough week as we take her in. Uh, to have that surgery. We are going to get the growth removed on the outside of her arm. Um, but she has some internally, and we don't know if it is worth going in and trying to give her a complete stomach operation uh, when she's this, this old and we can't tell how much pain she's in from that. So it's, it's a diff difficult decision. D it's so difficult. Um, 
So we're continuing to give her to terpenes as much as we can. And Macaroni Bear says, yes, let's get her to the surgery. Um, uh, let's get her to the surgery. Any word on reset people coming out of Take 5? That's my call. I have a call today about that. Um, so when I'm done here, my day is not over. It's not over. I, I won't be done with meetings until about 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. And then I can watch the Michigan game. So uh, we'll, we'll see how Mays pulls through next week. So right now, she's like that commercial or that where you see she's got one of those uh, cones on her head so she doesn't eat at the infection in her paw. Uh, we think that might have what caused her. Uh, we thought we lost her last week. Uh, it, it's always something. It's always something. Um, she's lived a great life, and she's a great, she's a, she was a great dog. Um, we'll continue to use the Beamer. We'll continue to use extreme terpenes and get her the surgery on outside um, but I just don't think we can do the opening up. Just uh, I don't know if she'd make it anyway. Uh, so Senator uh, Schumer, as we said yesterday, Schumer had a meltdown. Um, Sch Schumer had a meltdown. Uh, I thought it was absolutely uh, insane. I have never seen a politician in my life, especially a minority leader of the Senate, openly call out the cone of shame, yeah. Uh, I never knew what those things were for when I was younger. I had no idea. Why would somebody put that on a dog? That, that, that's just terrible. Well, so they don't lick their paws. That's what got her in trouble. She kept licking it. And it made, the house was so, it stunk so bad that you, 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 I got sick. Uh, poor, poor dog, poor dog. Luckily, it took my smart wife to say, ah, let's take her in again. <laughs> All right, um, so Ch Chuck Schumer, um, uh, obviously threatened by name two sitting uh, two sitting Supreme Court justices on the on the on the uh, the, the um, steps of the Supreme Court while they're hearing a case about abortion, threatening him if, that if they vote against the way he wants to vote that there's going to be payback. They're going to it's going to come back and hit them. It was such a horrible thing, such a horrible thing that even Democrats came out against him. One Democrat came out and said that they a senator wanted to censor him. I don't remember who that was. Uh, I didn't write that down in my notes. Uh, but there was a couple legal scholars that are Democrats that were actually in the impeachment against President Trump came out and, and said this was horrible. Uh, it's unprecedented. You should never have done this. Uh, calls for censure. Uh, J Justice Roberts, after late yesterday after our take five, Justice Roberts and a very, very rare Will the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court uh, go after a politician? Because remember, the Constitution, we the people, we have three equal branches of government. You have three equal branches of government, and they, and they balance each other. That's how the Constitution works. So he, uh, he just lit into Chuck Schumer about what he did uh, for actively going after two chief, chief justices by name and saying that there would be a price to pay. It was a threat. Uh, was uh, Judicial Watch called for U.S. Marshals to go and arrest Chuck Schumer? Uh, that would probably have been a good idea. Uh, then Chuck Schumer's spokesperson doubled down. He had the, the, the audacity to double down last night. Chuck Schumer is so used to getting away with anything he wants. His spokesman had the audacity after Judge Roberts, unprecedented, uh, just took him to the cleaners and saying that it's uncalled for, Double down and says Chief Justice Roberts did not li listen to Trump when it was on Sotomayor last week and Ruth Gator Ginsburg. He does not call balls and strikes. Well, that didn't go very well either. They all went <sighs> crazy. I know Senator Hawley wanted to, but there's a Democrat senator, I'm told, that's, that was for censoring him too. Um, I don't know who that was. I, I, I read that somewhere. Uh, he tried to apologize a little bit today, but it did not going to work. Um, he says he didn't mean them directly. Uh, it's not going to work. Go, Chucky. Chucky's Chucky's losing it. He's losing it. He's worried. El Chapo, Nexum, coming. Elizabeth Warren stops. She's done. She's done. Pocahontas is no longer in the race. It's down to as the Democratic Party wants to change the face of America, it's down to two white old men that are 77 and 78. You can't even make, you can't even make that up. What does censure involve? Basically a slap on the wrist, it doesn't mean anything. 
Uh, it, technically, it goes on their permanent record, but big deal. Um, uh, it's like when you when you're you, you get in trouble from your mom, and you get you get a slap on the wrist. It, it hurts, but it's over with. You know, it's nothing on your permanent record. Uh, this is, tells you how scared Hollywood and how wicked Hollywood is. They're afraid that the whole house of cards is coming down, and it is indeed coming down. Um, Patricia Arquetta, Ar 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 I can't say the name, says if Trump uh, wins in 2020, we will face extinction and destruction of our planet. So this this Hollywood actress. I don't think she's been relevant for a long time, but all these Hollywood people are coming out and saying how Trump is going to destroy us. We're going to be dead. Uh, uh, he's done so much. He's where we, we've done. So, he's he's destroyed the world. Uh, woe is us. And speaking of him, he's on. His voice is on again. Uh, it has to do with the Bidens dealing with Burisma and the key campaign issue. There's more about Burisma coming out that we'll talk about. But anyway, this the actress is saying that the, in 2020, if President Trump is reelected. We will face extinction and the destruction of the planet. Wow. Doesn't it, don't really remember he's the only president to get us out of wars? He's a president that has kept us safe. He's a president that's got more people working for America, whether you're African-American, Latino, uh, whatever your race, gender, or color is, everybody's working. But yet they say the extinction of it. What has he ever done besides about ready to take the 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 the, uh, the, the, uh, the 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 veil away. What has he done? Well, that's wrong. Yes, he's yes, he's cocky. Yes, he's uh, he's arrogant. Yes, yeah, he made some mistakes. You know, when you are when you vote for president of the United States, you're not looking for the altar boy in chief. You're looking for somebody that's going to make America better. Has he made America better or not? That's the only question you have to ask yourself. Has he made America better for you and your family? and your loved ones, or not? Or are you gonna to listen to this Hollywood that says if he wins in 2020, we'll face extinction and the destruction of our planet, or the planet will not exist if he wins. Just like they said the stock market would go in the tank if President Trump won. Well, that didn't happen either, did it? Nobody could take on China and get a China trade deal. You can't do tariffs. He did. He got a new USMCA deal. He put the, the embassy in Jerusalem for a Christian. He's standing up for life. If you're a Christian, there's no, there's no other way to vote. There's only one way to vote. You can't vote against life. That was part of our study today. Um, what were we in today? We were in Mark, uh, Gospel of Mark 10. God's word, you gotta know God's word. His precepts and commandments, they don't change. We have to honor his word. Uh, so the destruction of the planet. John Solomon is reporting um, a Florida poll, Biden at 61%, Sanders trails at 12%. Wow, Florida looks like the Biden. You think this fixes in against burn? Feeling the burn? One thing the Democratic Party can do is they can unite. <laughs> they can unite when there's a tragedy. Oh, they've, they've, they've popped this thing up. <clears throat> President Trump just says Schumer has brought great danger to, to the, uh, the Supreme Court justices. Heaven help if anything ever happened with a Supreme Court justice, because these, there's, there's people that are back crazy out there. Uh, so John Solomon says that FBI agents in uh, the Carter Page uh, probe were barred from FISA court request. Uh, judge uh, is opening up 19 pages of this information. They said they lied about Carter Page. Uh, they hid information that Carter Page made relevant. Remember, we know a CIA analyst did the same thing that took out the part that said he was a C underscore A asset, deliberately falsifying a document. Well, this, this judge is saying it's deeper. We are just getting started. Just getting started. Um, Milwaukee prepared to get burned to the ground. What's going on in, what's going on in Milwaukee? Uh, there's gonna be a lot of burn. There's gonna be a lot of need for emergency. And I think there's just a plan in place in case that happens. Well, it is in, in place. Uh, it's almost like everything's boomeranging back, huh? It's the year of the boomerang, right? HSBC, one of the, the, the compromised banks, HSBC, there's a scandal at HSBC, a huge scandal, obviously, with the reset, mortgage fraud, but, uh, but, uh, James, uh, oh, DNC conventions at, in Milwaukee. 
Um, that's how much I follow it. Uh, so uh, HSBC is the first major corporation that had to shut their doors to certain offices because the coronavirus is spreading. Do you notice that this coronavirus is targeting certain places more than others or certain countries or certain people? And yesterday, remember we said that there were different types of coronavirus? My, resource, my, my source was correct because last night, late last night, they came out and says there are two different types of coronavirus, one less serious and one that is more serious. Well, we know that, plus we know that they can bake certain things into the pie as well with 5G technology and also nanotechnology. It's in all of it, but there are two different strands of the coronavirus. And it has now hit HSBC in London. They have had to shut their doors. That's why you need the Beamer. I was on the Beamer today. We're gonna, Macaroni Bear says he's putting maize on the Beamer. I, I gotta get, have him come on and be a witness that, he, that everybody sees that Macaroni Bear is telling the world that he's making a promise that he's gonna put um, uh, ma or, uh, maize on, on the Beamer. I was on the Beamer today. So get your Beamer lessons. Uh, his Glory family partners, every person I've ever met that has bought a Beamer has said it was the best thing I've ever done. Your health is too important. And I'm glad to, I, I do not regret that one bit. The only regret I have about the Beamer is I sh my own fault, uh, two, two regrets. One, that I don't, didn't do it seven days a week. I let Saturday and Sunday go and I paid a price in my health. And two, that we didn't get maize on it sooner. That's on me. Uh, Bill Clinton admits to something with Monica Lewinsky. I'm not going to say what it is. We are a ministry. Uh, he said he did it because he wanted to manage his stress. He finally admitted it. I did not touch that woman. Actually, Sean Hannity tries to do it better. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not affecting kids, which is very rare that it's not affecting kids. Um, yeah, oh, the, the SCOTUS divided over Louisiana abortion. Yeah, it's probably going to be a 5-4. But remember this Louisiana abortion case. Uh, most likely it's going to come down to, it's 4-4 right now is what I'm told. It'll come down to Chief Justice Roberts. But that won't be the deciding uh, Roe versus Wade type thing. It's not there yet. But it is a precursor to what's coming. You can see that they're getting upset. You see how much they get upset to kill a life? Maybe they need it for this, these sick, sick, sick. It's all about the Benjamins. It's all about power. It's all about control. It's never been about cho choice. There's no choice. There's no choice. POTUS says effective now, funds will be withheld from sanctuary cities. Uh, we tweeted out many, many uh, illegals uh, in sanctuary cities. Uh, with d disgusting cases, there was a case in Chicago with a toddler that was uh, molested uh, by illegal alien. There was a five done in Brooklyn by illegal alien uh, raping. Uh, effective immediately, there is no more funding for sanctuary cities or states. You see them melting down. Melting down. Is, yeah, I see it now. SCOTUS is reportedly divided over Louisiana abortion case. Um, Sources are saying that the coronavirus is probably around 20,000 dead um, in Iran and about 500,000 infected. Why is it happening in Iran far worse than it's happening here? Why is it happening in China far worse than it's happening here? Why is it happening in Israel far worse than it happens here? Remember, there's, Israel is the last, the last uh, country to be dealt with. They have the ugliest and most infected pun intended, deep state that there is. And B Benjamin Netanyahu is in the fight of his life. He won the, he won the majority of the, the, the seats. Uh, the, the, the initial uh, exit polls, I think, showed that he would have 60, uh, 60 seats. You need 61. The actual results came in uh, yesterday. I think he's at 58. So he's about two or three seats short. And now Lieberman who is, is trying to uh, side with Benny Gantz. It's never over. The, 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 Benjamin Netanyahu is fighting and fighting and fighting. We need to continue to pray for biblical Israel. 
Uh, again, um, uh, there was a lot more in China affected by the coronavirus. Remember, we said, um, not we said, it was Tencent, the, uh, the, the Twitter of China reported like into the second week, there was 25,000 uh, killed. Um, it's much higher than that, much higher than that. Over, what was it, 500 million people were quarantined? Uh, and now it's confirmed that there are two types of strands of the coronavirus. One less severe, one more severe. Um, it's, it's, people have been tweeting this and been saying this, and this is it's quite entertaining or something to think about. It's strange how Michael Bloomberg could not buy the DNC nomination and spending seven, about $700 million. He could not buy the D DNC establishment, but Russia with a couple, a couple thousand dollars worth of bots supposedly swayed the election of 2016. <laughs> Just a food for thought. It's good to have food for thought, right? It's good to have thought. It's good to have food. Oh, don't talk about food. I'm trying to stay strong uh, on a new regimen uh, until my birthday and see what happens, okay? <laughs> this old guy's gotta get in shape. John Solomon, said, uh, John Solomon is also reporting Ukraine, uh, new president Zelensky uh, says the number of foreigners on countries' corporate boards is, uh, it, it cannot stand, uh, uh, citing Hunter, Bi Hunter Biden at Burisma. Zelensky fires cabinet members. Remember, there is an investigation in Ukraine right now. Um, Zelensky's... Uh, Zelensky and the Ukraine are having an investigation on Joe Biden and Hunter Biden as we speak. That is not a conspiracy. That is, that is, that is true. Johnson, the senator from Johnson. Yeah, 700 million. You know how much that could have fed uh, to people? Speaking of feeding people, we sent money to Kenya today to the orphans. So we're going to get pictures from Pastor Fred of the children eating and enjoying the, the food that we sent them. So God bless you. And when you uh, contribute to our partners, the well is done, or not done, the, the contract's done. They're gonna be building the well. Um, so they'll have water. And a lot of people don't understand this either. When, we, when you donate money to www.hisglory.me under the donation reoccurring or um, uh, one time, or send us a check or money order. Some ask, what's the best way to do it? Check or money order is the best because Checking a money order we, with a check, we don't have to pay the percentage of uh, the car credit card cost. So whatever works the best for you, whatever God puts on your heart. But that money and our partners go to help the world, help to give the Bible for free. All over the world, we give the Bible for free. We're, as you saw today, we were working on um, up, uh, updating some of our programming and the Gospel of Mark. We we're about 70% of the way through uh, the Old Testament. The New Testament is completely done. We're just refreshing it. We're going to continue to do more content, more interviews. We may have a big interview coming up real soon. Uh, that's really important. Um, uh, so stand by on that. But your the partners, in, by contributing them and your donations, we got Glory the Cow. So what we do with this money that comes in is we want to help our partners in, in uh, India, Afghanistan, Kenya, Liberia, all over the world. Um, but instead of just giving them money all the time, because when you give people money all the time, they'll want money back and they'll just they'll be dependent on you. We try to find a way to, to give them something that, uh, that they can sustain themselves. That's why we got Glory the Cow. Glory the Cow is, um, gives them fresh milk. We bought seeds last year for them to grow crops. We paid for the land so that they could grow their own crops of beans and corn. Uh, Glory the Cow, we're putting in a well so they have fresh water. So we're looking at things like that um, to, to, uh, to help. So people ask, well, why do you have all these, why do you have all these His Glory family partners? Are you in it to try to make money? <laughs> ask my wife if we've ever made money. We came from the corporate world, corporate world, making lots of money, and we gave it all up. Ask my wife. We, it's, it's, and we're, we're, we're never been happier than we are now. But, oh. Please don't add us about money. I haven't seen a paycheck in years. Uh, and that's not for that. We want to make a difference in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, but we continue to get at, at. Even close people to us don't know the facts. You would think they would ask a question. 
Where's this guy? Oh, do you see Pastor Fred? You see Glory the Cow? Oh, wow, we are doing something. And that's one thing, as I said, um, when we send money to Kenya, uh, and when we send plays, like we did it, we sponsored a cricket tournament for kids in Pakistan a few months ago. And it brought many to know Jesus Christ in Pakistan, young kids. So we sponsored his Glory Cricket Tournament to bring the kids in through sports. So a lot of times you have to bring the kids in through sports to get them to know who Jesus Christ is. And um, we, we put those pictures up there so that you can see. So you'll see pictures of Kenya, the food, uh, in the next couple of days. Because my wife sent the money to them today. Speaking of kids and content, go to His Glory Family Partners. If you have, a, if you have kids or grandkids or cousins or aunts or uncles, get them the Minnow app. Get them good Christian content so that they can raise them in the way of the Lord. Go to His Glory Family Partners. Get the Minnow app. It's better than Disney or any of that other crud that's out there. Raise them in the Lord. There are, there are good kids' Bibles as well. Macaroni Bear uses that Bible on um, uh, uh, the, each Sunday service. He, I saw him studying in it today. Uh, and that's what he does the simple as a child with. And that's what he does the Sunday service. He reads out of that children's Bible. It's great. There's vocationals. Uh, there is um, Veggie Tales, uh, Buck Denver. I think I was calling it Bob Denver for a while. It's Buck Denver, yeah. And then the, the, the CEO of Menno, he's a Michigan guy too. How about that? He's another story. He was working high up at Amazon and got out of the corporate world and all the money to start Menno to, to make a difference for Christ. Uh, so reset. Are we ready for reset? Um, Two bits of information coming in on a reset. One, uh, we're told that uh, th they are ready to move as soon as there's an emergency declared. And the other one, I'll know more after a call. Okay, And that might have to do with some education, too, that we may be bringing to his glory. Uh, to try to wake people up slowly about what this is all about. Okay, there was... Um, how can I say this? That document that I that I read about a month ago or two months ago. Remember that? People say, where is he reading this document from? It's now a go, I'm told. So I'll know more for tomorrow's take five. What is tomorrow, Friday? We'll try to do a Q&A on Friday. How about that? How about that? I don't know when. I don't know when, Oz. Um, what kind of emergency? I would, I would, if I had to guess, it would be martial law declared. There's a couple scenarios where you could see where martial law is declared. State of emergency. What if the, what if the coronavirus became an emergency in just say Washington, D.C.? Just not picking anything. Well, well Washington, D.C. and the Marines had to come in. Hmm. What would they do? Fascinating minds want to know. Uh, Talib is going unhinged too. Uh, the one from Dearborn, she's unhinged at, uh, about abortion as well. It just they've lost their minds. They've lost their minds. Um, the federal, the fed, the feds have arrested uh, people in Southern Carol, uh, South, South, Carol, uh, South Ca uh, California, Southern California. Three dozen homes were raided uh, for birth. Um, birth tourism industry, trying to birth them in uh, as an industry here to try to be beat the illegal alien system, and they were uh, raided. You can see that our feds are doing more and more and more. Newsom declared a state of emergency in California. Guess he needed federal money. Yes, he did. Uh, maybe that emergency in California is going to come back and bite him. Remember, Newsom is tied to the Gettys. Tied to the Pelosi's. Remember when we did that? We might have to bring that back out again. The Newsom and how all this is played uh, all together. How it goes to the Baltimore crime family as well. Everything is, everything is connected. Just watch the dots. Connect the dots. 328 uh, Chinese nabbed uh, trying to enter in illegally on our southern border. People saying the southern border is not important. 328 illegal Chinese tried to move in on the southern border. And I guess the cat is out of the bag. I was supposed to keep this a secret for a while, but now it's, I think everybody knows this. There's 27,000 Mexican, Mexican uh, uh, military on, the, uh, on their side of the border that are being run by our government so that these people don't come in. So th th there was an outstanding uh, plan in place. Remember, there's a, a rogue judge 
that's trying to stop that from happening. There's a counter plan in place. Comey, James Comey just can't stop tweeting. Yesterday or two days ago, um, she is different. She's not the same Pelosi. Uh, the more you dig into this cloning, let's just say Dolly. Remember Dolly the lamb or Dolly the Dolly the sheep? They were doing a lot before that. A lot before the cloning has been going on a long time. So Comey has had a bad week. Comey tweeted that his support for Joe Biden. Oh, Sleepy Joe says, I don't want your support for Comey. Where'd it go wrong with Biden and Comey? I want to know that story. Uh, Joe Biden must know at least something coming down on Comey because why would, he, why would he say, I don't want your endorsement if he was such a good guy and the president was wrong? He's turning it on Comey real quick. Maybe just Joe Biden is not, doesn't know what he's doing, or maybe he does. Maybe he's being pushed in a certain way. Um, it's just going too smooth. Not to. So anyway, James Comey today said, um, shame, he didn't name Schumer by name, uh, but he says, uh, we should not be attacking uh, the, the, the Supreme Court justices. We don't want to turn this country into people like Trump. So trying to say what Chuck Schumer did was wrong, James Comey didn't name his name, but threw Trump under the bus. You can't make this stuff up. Lisa Page, Lisa Page, if you remember about a year ago, Sometimes we got to go back to go forward. Um, sometimes we got to go back to go forward. Lisa Page, remember a year ago we said flip, 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 flip. We're hearing flip, 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 flip. Uh, remember her shirt with the wine to McCabe. It sounds like that is indeed true. Um, General Jack Keane gets the Medal of Freedom. Great guy. I love General Jack Keene. We talk about donations to His Glory already. If you're following us on somewhere other than His Glory TV, come to www.hisglory.me. Uh, the donation of regular uh, donation or reoccurring donation is the lifeblood of our ministry. Or if you want to send a check or money order to our P.O. Box, it's on the donate. It keeps us going and helps us do all the things we need to do, including the Sunday service and more. Sending money to the kids in the orphanage and more. All right. Uh, Comey's Crossfire Hurricane. This is Paul Sperry reporting this. Comey's Crossfire Hurricane team. You can't make this stuff up either. Inside the actual FISA documents that they were putting, they would put, they would put just empty sheets of paper as place setters for something that would come down the, the, the road to give to the FISA court. They're in so much trouble with this FISA. The FISA is just dripping, 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 dripping. Uh, so they use this as a, as, a, as a FBI file used for document support as a placeholder while they were getting the FISA application against Carter Page. No wonder Carter Page is suing them. Oh, the more coming out. Gang of Eight D class is coming very soon. It's coming soon to a, 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 a place near you. Um, gonna be fascinating. Gonna be fascinating. Gonna be fascinating. Gonna be fascinating. Arizona House just passed a bill to prevent males. So remember everybody with a, we can't say the word trans, you know what, you're not either this or that, you're it. Um, he has a placeholder, literal placeholder. Uh, until men start competing in women's events and the men are winning. And all of a sudden, there's a problem. <laughs> Wait a minute. So Arizona House passes a bill to prevent males from competing with female sports, per John Solomon. Uh, I think it was Maria Antonova, the, the, famous, um, the famous tennis player, uh, was for it until she started seeing, well, what if a male got into the tennis and started beating the people? Well, that's not fair. Well, genetically, you're made one way or another. You're either wire. You are what you are. You are what God made you in the beginning. God created a male and female is what the, what the scripture says, right? Vatican. What is the Vatican up to? Vatican has placed a giant statue of Moloch at the front of the Colosseum entrance. This is the Vatican. Has placed a giant statue of Moloch at the Colosseum entrance. Moloch, the god of sacrifice. You can't make this stuff up. 
And then in the closing, we're going to talk about Senator uh, Johnson uh, from Wisconsin. He is digging in deep with Burisma. He uh, has his first hearing next week, I believe it's next week, calling a witness. He came on OEN and he was on Fox last night talking it deeper. They've uncovered a company called Blue Star, Blue Star Strategies. They are the, the company that Burisma, a Ukrainian company, hired Blue Star Strategies out of the United States, which are tied to Clinton former officials. They're going to interview them next week and how this is tied to the Bidens, how this is tied to the Clintons, the witness comes in next week. If you're Burisma, why did you hire Blue Star Strategies that is run by former Clinton officials to get you, uh, get you the audience you need at the State Department? Mm. Or board members. Remember what Rudy Giuliani said? Rudy Giuliani said, um, this is far bigger than the Bidens. There's gonna be a lot of Democrats paying the ultimate price. Rudy's right. Rudy knows where the bodies are. Uh, so does Michael Flynn. So does General Flynn. All right, so that uh, wraps up today's Take 5. Today is March, I forgot what day it is, March 5th, 5 o'clock Eastern. Uh, so watch, get your popcorn. Things are getting more fascinating and fascinating and fascinating. Um, when you see them melt down, you know it's, it's close. Next week should be a big week. Uh, I think every day is a big week going forward. Um, it's absolutely incredible. So uh, we pray for uh, our president. We pray for his cabinet, which are making very important uh, decisions in front of the television and behind the television. We pray for the Supreme Court. We pray for uh, the military, uh, both on American soil, which is going to be very important soon, and on foreign soil. And we pray, uh, we pray for each and every one of you that you may be a light in these end days a light to a friend, a family, and even a stranger. May you go in his perfect shalom and peace. God bless you all. Till next time.